Making everyone happy on vacation isn't easy. But you know what is? Going to Aruba. All you have to do is walk out your door to find pristine pools, relaxing white sand beaches, and an island teeming with outdoor activities that'll put a smile on any face. You won't just feel great, you'll all feel great, filled with a calmer, more peaceful vibe that radiates Aruba's warmth. And the best part is, it never fades. That's the Aruba effect. Plan your family trip at aruba.com. This episode is brought to you by Bumble. So you want to find someone you're compatible with, specifically someone who's ready for a serious connection, totally open to having kids in the future, is a tall rock climbing Libra, and loves rom-coms with vegan pizzas on Tuesdays just as much as you do. Bumble knows that you know exactly what's right for you. So whatever it is you're looking for, Bumble's features can help you find it. Date now on Bumble. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2081, Marriage is the Real Problem, by Dr. Kelly Flanagan of drkellyflanagan.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of ORD, our second of the day, in fact. I'm your host and narrator, Greg Audino, ready to share another article with you, this time courtesy of Dr. Kelly Flanagan, who is a really wonderful therapist, a great writer, and a great storyteller, uh, who this time is going to discuss the innate pitfalls of marriage and how we can work against them alongside our partners. So let's hear what he's got for us as we start optimizing your life. Marriage is the Real Problem by Dr. Kelly Flanagan of drkellyflanagan.com Several years ago, a couple sat down in my office and told me they'd been fighting viciously since their last appointment. I asked what they'd been fighting about, and I silently flipped through my mental filing cabinet. In-laws, the kids, money are just fighting about fighting. Not much surprises me anymore, but what they said next caught me completely off guard. We fought about the color of your coffee mug. The color of my coffee mug? (laughs) He insisted it was purple. She insisted it was blue. Actually, the mug is both, depending on how the light hits it and your personal perceptions of color. And yet, they had been embroiled in a week-long battle arguing a point that doesn't have an answer, seeking victory in a game that cannot yield a victor, trying to solve a problem with no definitive solution. We live our marriages in this way. We make this crazy, strange commitment to entwine our life with another's life, forever, and we quickly come to discover the insanity of this. We think and communicate differently than our partner. We celebrate holidays differently. We grieve differently. We vacation differently. We have differences of opinion about life, about love and parenting and politics and faith, and the color of a coffee mug. But instead of deciding the problem lies outside both of us, between us, we decide the problem exists within our partner. We blame them for the differences and the struggle and the pain and the messiness of life. And our homes become a battlefield as we try to fix the problem we are married to. At best, Wives walk on eggshells trying not to wake the sleeping giant, and husbands sneak around like little boys trying not to get caught with their hand in a cookie jar. How do we rescue our marriages from this endless cycle of blame and conflict? How do we find sanity in the midst of this crazy commitment? When I was in high school, magic eye posters were all the rage. They were posters of apparently random and chaotic color, except if you stared into them long enough, stared past them, The colors collided into coherence, and an image emerged from the randomness. Something meaningful emerged from the chaos. I think we need to look at the marriage altar like we would a magic eye poster. We need to stare past the glitz and glamour of the wedding day. Stare past the false promise of lifelong satisfaction and personal gratification. Stare past the false hope of turning chaos into order with the exchange of two metal rings. And as we look more deeply into the marriage altar, we may glimpse a new image emerging from the randomness and chaos. We may see the wedding altar for what it is, an altar of sacrifice, a place our egos are meant to die. If we can look long enough, and if we can embrace this image of the wedding altar, we may yet have a fighting chance of standing with our partner, rather than constantly facing off against them. As our egos die, 
and our need to be right and powerful and safe dies with them, we may become free to embrace a radical kind of acceptance. We may be free to accept our spouse is another flawed creature with whom we are trying to solve the real problem of life and living. Our lives are stressful and chaotic, and sometimes no one is to blame for it. Our partner is not responsible for taking away all of our loneliness and inadequacy. The redemption of this life is not found in being right, but rather in being together. I wonder if this is the purpose of marriage. That couples might transform marriage into an entirely different kind of ground zero. That armies of married people might stand side by side and march out into the world, armed with a sense of unity, a willingness to sacrifice themselves for something bigger, and a commitment to love others regardless of the cost to ourselves. That we might decide, finally, to find an enemy worth fighting against. Enemies like hunger and homelessness and parentlessness and conflict itself. Tonight, one in seven people on this planet will go to bed hungry. Tonight, in the wealthiest country in the world, more than a million people will be without shelter. In the time you took to listen to this post, approximately 15 African children became AIDS orphans. This year, a record-setting 275 Chicagoans have been murdered, primarily due to gang violence. Says one Chicago police officer, instead of a bullet with somebody's name on it, we have a bullet that reads, to whom it may concern. For the most part, we can put these kinds of statistics out of our minds, until we go to a Batman premiere, and then the denial crumbles with the world around us. And yet tonight, we will go to bed with our backs to each other, fighting about who started the fight, who is most responsible for the kid's disrespect, or who left the toilet seat up, or the color of a coffee mug. Let's stop blaming each other, and let's find an enemy worth fighting against. Let's put our egos to death and let's stand with our spouses. Somewhere right now, there is a person not so different than you with an empty stomach and empty pockets, or a family with no family and no place to lay their heads, or a kid dying for a story to live and a set of parents who will narrate it for her, or a teenager with no authority figure except his gang and his gun. The world is aching for people who have learned the freedom of unity and compassion, who are ready to wield them like weapons, firing salvos of love into dark and crumbling places. Your marriage is meant to be the training ground. And in the midst of the training, you may learn that your partner is not an enemy combatant. You may come to know them as another freedom fighter, one who will always have your back, and one who will never leave you alone in the trenches. You just listened to the post titled, Marriage is the Real Problem, by Dr. Kelly Flanagan of drkellyflanagan.com, and I'll be back with my commentary right after this. Now, I am a big believer that if you want to be your best self in your relationships, or in anything you do, you need to fuel yourself properly. And that's why I'm so happy to have this show sponsored by Factor. Factor is delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day easy. You'll have over 35 options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale, and healthy options done easily. Not to mention it's flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing anywhere from 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime with no hassle whatsoever if something changes. So, head to factormeals.com slash optimal50, that's optimal50, and use code optimal50 to get 50% off. That's code optimal50 at factormeals.com slash optimal50 to get 50% off. Okay, and thank you so much to Dr. Kelly for this extremely insightful piece. I really love this view of marriage, specifically what he had to say about the marital altar being an altar of sacrifice as we prepare to kill our own egos. <laughs> Wrap that up and quote it somewhere. Sheesh. But to put it simply, I think what his lesson today really boils down to is mutual effort and mutual desire. Our marriages, or our relationships of any kind, really, they may be out of balance, they may be in states of toxicity 
or despondency, resentment, uncertainty, what have you. But to me, none of these phases have real power over the effort we're putting forth. So if two partners are on the same page about wanting the relationship to improve and putting in work to make it happen, then these types of phases can be moved on from. It's when there's a lack of alignment or absence of effort and desire that the relationship is at more serious risk for ending. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Obviously, not all relationships are meant to last forever. But if you are committed to making yours thrive, do consider it from this angle and trust that results are more likely to follow as long as you're on the same page with the same intentions and seeking those intentions and outcomes through your actions. Okay, and that will bring us to the end of this episode, folks. Heavy one, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I thank you very much for staying until the end. Thank you once again to Dr. Kelly as well for sharing. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and be sure to come on back tomorrow to start a brand new week with us. That's where your optimal life awaits.